Somebody say they don't know where the labia is. I heard somebody say they don't know where the labia is. I pointed in the right direction and he said thanks. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rick. It's of Gorham. That's Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, oh. Twitter, 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 yeah. Today, uh, we have a uh, video. This is Shah Khan Beneath the Surface. And this is... Uh, Speaking of labias. Yeah. F the film companion. Uh, so she's she's the... Yes. I forget her her, her name. Um, 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 um. And Does the interviews. Yeah, she'll tell us. Yeah. Uh, but she goes, like, I think where he was born. And this is like a multi-part series. Awesome. Uh, this is the first part. Um, Relatively the, recent, I hope. Like 2016. Okay. So it's, so been, a, it's been a few years. It's been a few years. Pre, uh, pre COVID. Yeah. Um, but let's just get into that. Sorry. Sorry. My wife isn't here. Donald Pama Chopra. That's there you go. First year of our conversations. Wow. Yeah. I first came to see you uh, April. We have, a, we have a whole book to prove it. <laughs> we all have a whole book to prove it. I first came to see you April 1995 on the sets of Round. Oh, that long back. That long back? You were wearing a purple suit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I still have it. You still have it? Yeah. Give me my money. Golden Knight Fighters. That's why I spoke. <laughs> I'm inspired by my book. Why <laughs> Round Janet? I, I met a bad guy. Huh. Who, uh, had seen Ramdhan and uh, he got so disturbed the way I ate the bad guy. Huh. He said, which bad guy have you seen? Doesn't get a shirt under the suit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. Balls um, to them. This was, of course, pre DDLJ's release. But my sense is that inherently you're still that guy. You're still charming, little cocky, very funny, relatable, and somehow still larger than life. Is, is that a correct assessment? Are you still that man? Uh, I am. I mean, you know, people don't really change. I mean, people talk about evolving and XYZ, but there are certain beliefs that you live by. When you're younger, it seems even stupid. So you talk more like that. But I think what you say in your childhood or youth is who you are. You may uh, garb it in uh, better speech patterns. I mean, I don't say a boss to them anymore. I just say, yeah, I fall. <laughs> <laughs> you just want polite man now. Please, you. I fall. But I think, yeah, somewhere. Whether that belief was misplaced, whether that belief was right, whether it was something that comes instinctively from inside, I think that's what who you are. Because sometimes you'll see your That's your essence. Yeah, that's your essence. Like you, you meet your son and you know, you'll be chatting. And how old is he eating now? He's going to be. Yeah, and he'll just say something. And you're like, how can you talk like this? Yeah, all the time. It's not right. It's not the uh, boom, no. But you know that he will be that person. Of course, he'll curb his way of talking. Of course, he'll understand better. But I think the essence comes out in that period of life. Is that a body, kind of bodyguard? <laughs> but deep down inside, Probably. should I take off my shirt? Got it. <laughs> Got it. Six. It's <laughs> balls to them. Uh, yeah. And I have fair armpits. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely bodyguard. <laughs> we'll take your word for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll show you. 
you know, it's appropriate that we're having this conversation in Lisbon while you're creating a love story with Imtiaz Ali and Anushka Sharma. And I mean, you've spent half your life playing a man in love. Mm. With women who belong to other men. <laughs> <laughs> begin with, in the right, right. I was just telling him to ask Anushka, just before the short the conversation when you were watching it, huh? wasn't about the scene. I just told them I've made an art and profession out of loving women who are going to get married to someone, already married, or are engaged, and then I run after them, and then I get them from wherever they are, from any corner, sometimes with charm, sometimes with goodness, sometimes I throw them off the building, but <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> That's accepted. I have to accept it. I have to accept it. It's a, it's a, it's a problem. It's chronic. Uh, I need to do something about it. And the only thing I find doing about it is just keep doing it again and again and again. Maybe one day it will get rid of me. But, but Jarak, has your understanding of love and the portrayal of it in Hindi cinema has it altered a lot, or do you find yourself sort of going through the same beats? It will sound a little pompous and all knowing, but I know all facets of it. However strange it may sound me saying it, when in interviews I'm very honest. So I'm telling you, it's, it's a shocking thing. Like you might find a person who knows all the theorems. You may find a person who knows uh, all the plays of Shakespeare. And and you'll find a lot of people who have all the knowledge about films. I am a lot like that. I honestly am. What does that mean? I am uh, <coughs> beautiful. I'm physically <laughs> and I'm, I'm in a, in a good Goddamn right. Uh, I am love incarnate. I'm charming, I make you glow, I make you sad, I destroy you, I distress you. Goddamn right. I create longing for you. I create longing for you. <laughs> Who's that person the just yelling in the back? That happened to you. I could, the best thing that could happen to you. So I am genuinely, and I believe in love like that. I'm not just a man, woman love, or man, man love, or woman, woman love uh, of sensuality. I think even a. All kind of love. All kind of love. I know love very So I understand Akhtar Chopra's love. When he tells me to do Dilwa, I understand Intiaz is very And he told me once that, you know, sir, I was a little wary. He would not tell you about love, but I can suddenly know what he means and where he's coming from without wanting to know his backstory. All of us have a backstory which we kind of uh, expose in our cinema, especially writers and <laughs> actors still less. I'm not saying I'll be able to deliver just because I know love, because obviously I'm bound by <coughs> my five expressions. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> really need to, uh, say, yeah, can I sense this? Can I feel it? Can I hold myself back? Okay, this scene is actually in a love story. Oh, I, I keep doing it actually. Yeah. As you see, Adi would do the scene like this. Karan would do it like this. Because he's that love. He's that love. Hmm. Jazz won't do it like this. So I, 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 I get really intrigued by it. It's fortunate and unfortunate. That if you try something completely in a dark space in a love story, I think people will get a little... Uh, It'll be too shocking. Yeah, they like her name. You shouldn't be like that. I mean, when you did uh, in Kank, when you went into that hotel oh, yeah. room, and you know, people couldn't believe it was you with somebody else's wife. Yeah. And just to tell you, it was a body double. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I see movies, everybody's doing it. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and uh, I, I was really taken aback when people reacted to that film. And I think... As they didn't want to see Shah Rukh Khan having an affair. Cynical, uh, angry, rock, you know, and I remember somebody saying, what was your face? So I kept my face in angst all the time. Yeah, you were very curdled, I remember that, yeah. I remember suddenly, I got a feedback that, you know, he's a bhar kadeng karla na, film on episode. He's showing his face. So I was like, it's just a movie. And you know, that's one place where you have to have extreme amount of freedom of expression. But if I'm going to be curbed sometimes by reactions, curbing, like, you know, you're really shocked. But you pay attention to it? Does it bother you? No, I still say, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what we said years. But it does uh, make the filmmaker actually think. Right. They become a little wary. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't talk to Karan. He was here. Maybe he would say, Bhai, you don't do this with you. It's a backlash. You know, I saw Suhana in a school play. And she was really good. And so I tweeted about how she was really good. And, and you tweeted back to say that um, it's the same face, but she has, I have so much to learn from her. She has so much more brevity and grace. Do you think after all these years that you still haven't quite cultivated enough brevity and grace? No. Really? No. Two things have happened in the world. When I see someone like Sohan, I mean obviously there's a bias or whatever people may think because she's my daughter. But some young actors, Ali, I've just finished a book. I get so amazed by the lack of life they have lived. But they can still express so much 
without knowing all the expressions of life here, or mm -hmm. having felt them. Mm -hmm. My assumption is, I think Alia has, Suhana has, there's still more to see. You know, you always say, you know, when you see oh. life and then the experiences come on, and yeah. without having the experience, still being able to convey uh, emotions, which I would take much longer because, so is it that my experience has given me more expressions and my brevity is gone? You see, craft is tangible. It can bind you, you know, and there is a, there's a method to it. Art is free, flowing. That's how we believe art. You know, instinctive. Instinctive. Yeah. The poem, the flies. And it, it just comes. It just comes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But craft, as you go by, starts binding. So Good observation. It can because absolutely you do that. Of so many things to yes. Fix it. Make it right. Get the point through. Right. Mm. Uh, make it stick. Uh, like. You should learn it all and then forget it. Right. You start asking that too often as an actor. So when I see a Suha do what she does, it's such a good look because she's still not bound by the craft. And hopefully, before she gets bound, her art would have taken place. Mm. I think I, I've been given that opportunity. I'm not. Uh, I'm not tripping. I think I had that opportunity. But naturally, I think the craft coming in. Takes away, and then the nicest way to deal with it is to work with people who are not bound by the craft as yet, have free flowing art, and then imbibe what they do, take it from them. So I do that. I think Agya is very good. Hmm. I think she's really new. Uh, amongst the new people, I haven't really seen uh, too many people who work with actually. Hmm. But, but it genuinely makes you happy. It makes me happy. Yeah. You see, yeah. I don't like many actors, mm -hmm. I'm malice towards one and all. <laughs> Why? Oh, it just happens. It's, it's just, it just, just is. Huh. Uh, somebody told me politicians all around the world uh, abuse in public mm. and hug in private. Mm. Actors all around the world hug in public and abuse in private. <laughs> so, actors have it's a, uh, and a good man. It's not a bad man. Mm. They're not like deciding to stab each other. Huh. I think I have the ease now. Uh, I don't have to prove it. I don't have to get it right. Mm. So I'm like, okay, let me just come in and see. I'm not ill prepared. I think I just need to know my lines. I need to know my focus points. I need to understand what the scene is going yeah. to be. Know your lines and hit your mark. No, I'll just keep on. <laughs> Cherry liqueur. Sounds disgusting. Yeah, I don't know that I'd like that. Very nice. Granted, she, she might have made it herself. Maybe it's delicious. Me too. So, you know, I was reading um, this thing David Fincher said a couple of years ago yeah, yeah. that I'm not interested in movies that entertain. <laughs> he said, I love movies that scar. Mm, that's a very, that's Fincher very statement. Fincher. George is that I could never swim in the ocean again. Yeah. Your, of course, sort of forte has always been entertainment. But after all these years, do you want your cinema to do something else? Do you want it to scar, to educate? See, it's a, uh, uh, one, one can uh, place it like on David Fincher has. But I think Jaws was extremely entertaining. No, no, of course it was. Of course. Uh, and yeah, you can find a deeper meaning in your cinema as time goes by. And you can only find it post people have sort of decided what they liked or disliked about it. See, I can't make up my mind. Uh, you can't do it before. You can't do it before. I don't think so. But I wanted time to shake you up and entertain you as well. You know, God, if this happens, it is a scary thought. And it is an interestingly scary thought. And it can't happen actually to me. Not that it has, but uh, it, it has enough to shake you up a bit. God, this is really pushing it, man. Suppose a guy looking like him gets completely taken in and obsessed. And I meet people who love me so much. I keep telling people, those who look like me, want to look like me, I love you all. It's really not only just complimentary, it's just so honest and honest. I, I, when I was young, I thought I looked like 
X Y Z. Your mom thought you looked like Dilip Kumar. Yeah, I thought I looked like Mr. Bachchan. Dilip Kumar. Girl said I was like Al Pacino. So I got the best of them. Don't you decide that primarily I want to entertain? That is my sort of reason for being. When you say that. <clears throat> You must be primarily thinking to entertain. I think for 25 years, and genuinely I say so, and I'm not just having this stupid belief in myself. I've never thought of a film as an entertaining movie. I'm like, let me just do this. It's fun. Like, I think this film that Karan has made here is something. Maybe I'm being lynched for. I don't even care. I mean, he does not. He will have a lot of things to say. But I think it's very interesting. I think it's, it's a very nice film to be made. And uh, if I can add to it, by just. Uh, Learning with this new experience, because perhaps I don't have the age to do a full film like that anymore, or stage, or stardom is too big, perhaps, or whatever the reason is. I just didn't have the offer like that. It's very interesting to be a part of that film. Now let's see what it does to the world. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I'd like my cinema to be like that and not commercially successful. I would like that, but when it doesn't happen, it's not the. I'm just. इतना तो नहीं पड़ेगा। ये लोग तो used to। हाँ। इतनी छोटी है सर। कहाँ जाएंगे लोग? हम लोग अपने highways का complaint कर रहे हैं। हाँ, really? ये गया बंदा? नहीं। हम मोहब्बत इन लोगों में से। To stay like this. Respect each other। उसको जाना ही पड़ेगा पहले। Okay. Nice. That was the end of the first part. Awesome. Uh, I'm glad there's another part. I like. Uh, I like the the format, and I'm, I did it's, too. It's, it's a. It's more non-formal than a sit down. Very uh, much at ease. And obviously, he knows her well. So yeah, I'm that, sure that, he's, he's that quite helps. Comfortable with uh, trust her answering these questions, but sure. yeah, he's. Um, it's it's a lot of what he's kind of illustrated before of. You know, he knows what he is. He knows what his audience expect. He yeah. likes to sometimes branch out of that too, because yeah. it's fun. And, yeah, um, and stuff like that. Uh, but it's always so interesting to hear him talk. I always love. He's a well articulated man. Yeah, very well articulated, and he is such. Every time you listen to him in this interview, especially, you recognize there's really no one on earth like Shah Rukh Khan mm -hmm. in his. Not just his experiences that he's gone through and his stature, yeah. but his perspective and his approach to movie making Hello. Is, is, is singularly unique. So many things he said there that would never be my thoughts, but that doesn't make them right or wrong. It just makes them different approaches to why you make a movie and what you expect to get out of the movie making process. And the fact that mega stardom in India is just so different. So, so different. Uh, it's... it's and acting in India is different. Very. Um, and what audience expect what uh, audiences of their megastars. True. What audiences expect and it's, you know, it's wonderful because he clearly has the capacity to recognize good as we call thespianatic craft. What he said is very true about craft is important but it can be binding because mm. you become in your head and you start to think too much about what you're doing rather than just being in the moment. The objective of craft, and it doesn't make sense, but the objective of craft is spontaneous living. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 the only way to be, it's, it's like in sports, you train on the disciplines, but you can't be thinking about them when you do them. They have to be second nature. Mm -hmm. And you can't pre-think, I'm gonna run to center field on this pitch. You can't do that till the ball's hit. You have to go with whatever's being given to you, but you need to know how to do everything at once. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's very true that if you learn craft, it can be very, very binding. But that's kind of where his approach to movie making and what he does is very different. There's so many things. He'd be so much, so interesting to work with. I think he would be a singular experience unlike any other movie star mm. or actor because his approach, I think there'd be times I agree with him wholeheartedly about an approach, and then there'd be times I disagree wholeheartedly. Yeah. But you'd have to trust what he's saying, and because well, what yeah. he does succeeds. Um, also, works. just the like I said, superstardom is completely different. Whole other world than what even like Nawaz has, obviously, because uh, he's not. 
uh, Nawaz's audience expect something much different from Nawaz right. than the audiences expect from Shah Rukh Khan. Absolutely. Um, and, and vice versa. <laughs> uh, even though I would love, you know, like for one day, like them two to switch and have different roles and that Absolutely. kind of stuff like that. But it's just they know what audiences want um, from him and when they didn't get that they rejected it like so he was talking about and can't even though i haven't seen it, i know what the story's about obviously right and we've a, heard a love affair and we've heard um i know johnny likes that movie mm -hmm. um i don't know if you would you hate movies with affairs in them it depends on what's being depicted but yeah if 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 a if a good person is being cheated on i'm not a pl I, I, think, I don't enjoy i that. think that movie is actually like, i don't every, enjoy that there's two sets of relationships that are being cheated on with each other. Mm. I think that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to watch. Um, hard to watch. Personally, I love affairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, fantastic. Uh, look forward to the, the other parts. Uh, and uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Just